Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. This is Pahamar. Pahamar, how's it going? Good, I'm making some baked potato. Oh, really? Indeed. Nice. I've been doing a bit of mining to the point where I've got like... My iron pickaxe need to be repaired. I built us some cool little shelters. Nice. To keep us from dying. Dying is bad, living is good. So people will be able to see that now we have these little kind of tunnel-y entrances into the room. So we have the one on the right that ends in a door that you can come down and open up and see Palmar, the top. I feel like you've died a lot. I may have, because all of my good gear is down there, and you were very not helpful. Thank you. Um, I decided that the top level is just covered in monsters and terrible, so I've been mining down. I found that there's a lot of this colored glowstone, like, interspersed throughout the area down here, so it kind of acts like its own light source. So as we've been mining down, uh, I've been finding a lot of that around, and that's pretty good for us. There's also, so, the ores at the top appear to be poor quality, although yeah. there's this yellowite that's nearby. Cool. Hey, let's come back in a minute after we've done a little bit more mining, and then we can show off the rest of our cave. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, we're back, guys. So, uh, yeah, Pomar, I've been uh, just mining lots and lots and lots down here. I can um, see you started on this set of stairs. Yeah, I've been basically mining downwards, and I decided to stop when I found whatever this iron stuff is. I don't know what it is, but uh, when I got down here, it looks like there's a lot of monsters. Yeah, I see there's already, uh, you must have put this wall here. Yeah, no, I realized that there were monsters everywhere. Chest, chest, um, chest. Chest, 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 what? Ow, I'm being shot with something withering. Hammers, hammers. What? Hammers. Where? I grabbed them. Let's get to nice. safety. Yeah, so apparently, like, there's lots of stuff down here, mostly terrible related. Is there anything good? I'm, I'm going to grab... Yeah, I don't know stuff. what that stuff is, but... Hey, I don't... Ooh, um... Oh, wow. That skeleton that's shooting me is ridiculously far away, I want you to know. Okay, I gave you a bit of a shield. Like, he's really far away. Okay, this should be safe for a moment. You know what I see over in the distance? What's that? It looks like... Oh, God, you scared me. Um, uh, yeah. Do you see over here through this gap? No, because you're running away. No, I'm terrified of what's going on right now. Doesn't that look like compressed stuff? It does. It looks like doesn't... that double compressed stuff. But it also looks dark. Yeah, and there's also a skeleton with some kind of crazy bow contraption. Ooh, dense coal ore. I am harvesting this immediately. Considering the main thing I've been after is coal and iron, I just found like a massive amount of coal. I just got luck on my pickaxe. And I found a creeper too. People are wondering, I'm gathering the yellow right ore over the other ore right now because um, we have a quest for yellow right. Nice. Yeah, we haven't looked at our quests in a while. We just all of a sudden had like lots of stuff. You are now an expert at the iron pickaxe. Sweet. Oh, that's I've got some make upgrades. Go small. Small. Yeah, I'm kind of the best miner ever. I feel like we should ask Elaran that. Why is that? She is the best miner ever. Probably true. She was the creator of the original Inch Drive. That's true. In Minecraft, at least. Whoa, there's even some crazier stuff. Really? Yeah, the stuff, the, the air stuff that we've seen so far is like purplish. There's like blue Wait. stuff. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of things down there. It looks like there's normal ore farther down too, but it's of course darker and therefore more scary. I got an ore berry bush. I'm going to take it. Yes, grab any of those you find. We can probably automate them. I'm like, everywhere I go down here, I'm blocking off any entrances. Yeah, I see lots of ore and stuff down there. That's like normal looking ore. I see copper and a couple other things. But of course, it's also open and dark. Whoa, that was really awesome that I just survived that. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, a creeper just kind of blew up right next to me. This is the awesomest miner ever. 
Didn't die. Just putting that out there. Like, I'm gonna look at this, and then I'm gonna look at that, and then I'm gonna look at this. Like, we're gonna have to, like, wrap your skulls around the corner pretty soon, because we're running out of space for your deaths. You are just so mean. I'm just telling you where we're at. I'm gonna tell Aurelian. Go ahead. I'm gonna put away this stuff I got. Um... So yeah, we've got 17 coal. I don't know if that helps, but I feel pretty good about it. So I'm not sure what we should be doing right now. I'm gonna maybe look at some quests and see what might be doable. Okay, I'm just still kind of wandering around in this place. Yeah. Um, so there's the farming quest, there's some compressed resources. I mean, gravel, sand, and dirt. Um, uh, the compressed ones, how compressed? Just double. Or just double. Yeah. There's a chemical decomposer. Whoa, okay. I see another chest. I see a big opening here. There's definitely another chest down there. Damascus steel, huh? There's an alloy recipe of iron and Tinker's alloy blend. AKA bronze, which is copper and tin. Have you encountered any copper and tin? Didn't you say you saw dense copper? Oh, I see tin. I saw normal copper and tin, but I didn't, but that was deep down where it was scary and dangerous. Anyway, did I tell you about these hammers? Uh, you mentioned them, and then you did not give me one. There's three. We have a brass one, we have an obsidian one, and we have a steel one. Sweet. Sounds good to me. I'm assuming you're using one, right? Yeah, I'm using one now. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna head down now that I've kind of dropped off all my stuff and see what I can find. If I can get some of that copper and tin, that would be nice. Um... I'm probably, you know what I'm gonna do is I've been relying on some of the glowstone stuff that I've been finding as a light source. I'm gonna actually go grab some torches now that we have at least something of a coal resource income. I might as well make the torches. Because if we can get down there and actually start harvesting some of that goody stuff, be I good. think that's what we need to do. Yeah, we need to progress, and that's our These best These hammers make this so much more efficient. Oh, yeah. Can I have one, maybe? Yeah, you gotta come get me. Okay. Gotta go find Pahamar. It'll probably kill me, because death seems to follow him everywhere. Well, you should find it pretty easy because it's just follow the the knot Corpses. where you're going. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm actually going to the dangerous area right now, so I'm thinking maybe I don't want to bring a hammer in with me. I could probably do with a better sword, too. Alright, well, when you want a hammer, go back to that chest that I found. Okay.
This might not be good for me. And I'm dead. <laughs> good job. I feel like it's a good thing we didn't leave it on hardcore mode. Yeah, Mr. I, why don't we do this, Palmer? I think it's a good choice. Yeah, well, you know. All right, let's see. I should be... This is probably like the one time outside of the opening of your season that you film yourself mining. Yeah, I don't mind that often, really. Come on, skeleton die. I should have brought a sword with me, but I didn't. All right, I'm going to get one from the AE system, I think. Wow, I've actually managed to tunnel my way all the way to the outside of the room. Sweet. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get myself closer to the double compressed stuff. Right. In a somewhat safe kind of way. Yep. That's what I should be doing, is being a little bit more cautious. As opposed to Direwolf 20 in it? Exactly. Bombcraft's not here to save you now. Few things are here to save me right now. Including me. Darn it! <laughs> Who's catching up on that death count? Yeah, really. Getting a lot of resources doing this too, so that's awesome. Alright, I'm just gonna bring an iron sword with me and hopefully manage to survive this one try more. And then if I don't manage it this time, I don't want to spend the entire episode running to my corpse. <laughs> I've made it. Oh, really? I got my stuff and then I died. Because I forgot to put my armor on. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. All right, Pahamar, I think I finally got my stuff back here. It only took me like six or seven tries, but I made it. I would like to encourage you to follow the tunnel that I made. Yeah. Because, because I, found I found all these, all double, these double compressed double. things, as well as I found a chest. Oh, really? Yes. Also, I think I found your copper. And my oh, orberry good. bushes. Orberry bushes. Um, so you said it's a tunnel you've made? Yeah, so get down to, go to where the chest is with the hammers. Okay. I see you. Do you like my super safe tunnel? It's pretty nice. So come this way. I could make a tunnel if I had a hammer. You, there's hammers in the chest, I told you that. Hmm. Anyway, come down here. Look at all this stuff. Nice. I'm going to light up the area. I'll help you because this chest had 128 torches. Uh, really? We got a skeleton. I hate skeletons. We need some ranged weapons and pronto. I'm just going to like prioritize. Ooh, there's grout down here. That's ideal. Where's the grout? Over here. That's a quest we have too. Yeah, my priority right now is lighting this place up. 
We should get a shovel of some form. I don't think I have one, but we can make one easily. Skeleton. I like that we got to the level of goodies. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, we should make a shovel and come back down here and get stuff. There was a, oh, that's the chest that had all the torches in it? Yep. Nice. There's a skeleton chasing me right now. Come on, skelly. Gotcha. Nice. I'm going to snag some of this copper here, too, if I can. You're all right. I'm hearing somebody taking damage. I got attacked by a witch. Yeah, I definitely need some kind of ranged attack weapon. Uh, why didn't you clear away the monsters? What are you talking about? You invited a skeleton to the party. I don't know that I invited a skeleton to any parties. Well, I didn't. Well, I mean, he came at your request, apparently, because... Yes, he came at my request of, please kill me, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, weathered away. I almost survived that, but I think I died in a relatively safe spot, so that's what's that's good. I think it's a good thing we're not in hardcore questing mode right now. <laughs> yep. Yep. Very much so. Okay. I want to get our stuff and head back and regroup at the observatory area. So do you want to meet back there? Yes, please, because my picks are broken. Okay, cool. Hey, Pahamar. Hey, Direwolf. I was exploring around the big reactor room, and guess what? What'd you find? A trophy? A trophy. Ooh, what'd you find? What was it? The slime one. I'm coming to you. Okay. Was it hidden in a pillar? It was. Gets us some congealed blue slime and the ability to spawn two king slimes. It was in here. Oh, clever. Yeah. So, I'm assuming we're supposed to be using this reactor to power the machines upstairs that we're using to process our ore. And we were given at least one tesseract. Uh, but we don't have another one, do we? Um. Oh, you're talking about the one that's plugged in here? Yeah, like... There's one plugged in them there, but like, how do we get our power up to, you know? Oh, are you else? saying that this is one we were given? Because this is transmitting somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I assume basically what we need to do is get power up to here. I mean, we could bring our leadstone energy cells down manually. I mean, that would—that's something we could do. It doesn't sound fun, but we can do it. Hey, oh, we got a quest we can complete. Do we? Yeah, go into Lost in Space. Apparently, I got enough of the double compressed stuff. Oh, Sweet. I just need you got one a each. compressed cookie and a reward bag. I got two redstone ally blocks. That's cool. I got 30 spawn spider creeps. Yeah, I got that before, and I did not like getting that. 30 magnesium blocks. I had some other reward bags I haven't handed in yet. Uh huh. And 20 flint. Sweet. So we need to find 20 grout. We need to make ang melon, which is iron and gold. 
ferrous. Oh, okay. We need to mine 10 ferrous ore and make 10 invar ingots. Cool. Hepatizen. Oh, that's gold and bronze. Okay. We could probably make the iron spike now, which will get us a whole bunch more spikes. I think we also have enough now to make ourselves a tool forge, which will give us slime tough binding, a netherrack hammerhead, bone broad axe head, and a cactus yeah, scythe. Yeah. Oh, I found another little secret thing. Where are you? I'm down in the uh, spatial I.O. room. Where's this one? Do you see anything in this room that doesn't look appropriate? You? Yes. Something looks wrong. It's over here. Well, you're blocking it. Oh, the dense energy oh. cell that's not pink, it's purple. Cool. Forward yep, bag. there was um, a reward bag and eight more dense energy cells. And in the reward bag, I got some colored glass. You missed another one. Did I? Yeah, there's a reward bag over here. Nice. Sneaky, sneaky. Thing. Apparently, we need to look at every single block. Yeah, really. No kidding. So I came here because I was like wondering if there was a tesseract here. There must be something powering this stuff. Um, and I assumed there would be a tesseract. I don't think we should be digging into the wall, right? Like, not that's until, yeah, not right. I would yeah. say let's not. Yeah, that's probably not an ideal idea. Um, I'm. I would like to have some kind of access to our power, basically. Because otherwise, what we're going to have to do is pick up and carry the um, leadstone energy cells that are empty over to the reactor, turn it on. Like, that doesn't sound fun. You don't need to turn on the reactor because it holds a uh, buffer. I know, but I mean, we'll have to turn it on when that buffer is gone. I don't think it's that terrible for now until we can make ourselves a tesseract. Right. There we go. I'm going to reorganize some of the stuff we've got here. There we go. That should do. And then I should be able to bring this thing down to the uh, reactor and plug it in. I'll get familiar with the layout of this base at some point. Cool. That fills that up. So I guess right now we just have to process our ores, right? Yep. That's where the reactor is relatively here. Okay. Cool. I'm processing the tin and uh, copper ores that I got. So pulverized tin. And this is all the copper. And this stuff's cooking up the last of that, so that's cool. I'm doing some cookie quests. Yeah. Nice. So we're supposed to apparently be making Damascus stuff. If you could... Yes? Could you go... That's iron and bronze. ...to your bake to win... Sure. And can you hand in double compressed and triple compressed? Sure. And do you get cookies? Yes. Could you give me these cookies? They're all at your feet. So what's awesome about that is we technically have enough now that we could actually purchase more sp spatial areas. Really? Yeah, so cookies appear to be the currency for Chapter 4, Community Spatial Areas.
Aha. So if you go in there, you can unlock different areas. And okay. the cost of unlocking them is cookies. I see. So should we do that? Like these are community made. Um, should we do that before we progress much further in our current stuff or? Well, let's see, actually. This might be a bit of an exploit. Because uh... we can also use cookies to get some reward bags. And it's repeatable. We can also make a cookie jar to get more cookies. Haha. -ha. Looks like cookies are kind of a currency for several things, actually. Uh, we could use cookies to get a potion stand, or a brewing stand, if we want to make bro uh, our own potions. Ooh. See, yeah, the cookies are definitely the currency, and I wonder if he's been influenced by Cookie Clicker. <laughs> that would be funny. Do you not see the, the possibilities here? I do. So... I should I snag know. some gold from downstairs, by the way, because apparently one of the quests is to get uh, a combination of iron and gold, and I didn't grab any gold while I was down there. We need 10 ag Angmalin ingots. Do we not have um, gold that we got already in the mining? I didn't collect any, did you? I had a bunch. Did you put it in the A system? Yeah, I believe so. I didn't see it unless I typed gold wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I would have assumed you would have gotten some, but I didn't see it, so... I don't know what happened to it. I did have it. Ooh, I got another level of haste on my pickaxe, that's all. I'm gonna go put these cookies away, I don't wanna die. Good plan. I'm gonna look for gold. I'm really tempted to see these community spatial areas. I, I agree, no, it sounds like a good plan. I just don't know if we wanna do that yet, or if we wanna wait, or what we wanna do. Well, I'm gonna mine out some more with the hammer. Okay, I should grab a hammer too, now that you said that. I remember that we have a hammer. You have two, although I think the brass Zombie. one probably fits you. Looks like brass can't really harvest much. But obsidian can. Does an obsidian wear down super fast? Uh, no, it wears down super slow. Take that, sneaky zombie. So I think the safest bet is kind of like strip mine this area. I could agree with that. Oh boy, that is the opposite of what I wanted to just do. What did you just do? Fall really far. And what did you not want to do? Fall really far. So what? Though, I'm not sure, but that might be a skystone chest down there, actually, that I almost fell on. Ooh, that fell. Um, did you? <laughs> yeah, I got we are both terrible at this. Thing. I'm just so used to mining in a spot that, like, it's not likely you're going to fall. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I should do is hold shift, and that'll ensure I don't fall if I hit a ledge. Like just now. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to bring my gold home and see if I have enough to make this next thing. You want to come back in a minute, Fahamar? Sure, I'm just harvesting grub. Okay, I'm debating if I want to go down there and see what's in that chest that I almost had. I feel like from the biosphere, it's probably pretty safe to bet the cool stuff's at the bottom. Oh, well, there's some picks in here. Good ones? 
I don't know. Um, yeah, this one has a mining level of cobalt, so that's good. Uh, this one has a mining Will level cobalt of cobalt. Skystone? Probably. I'm gonna say almost definitely. Obsidian might even get a skystone. All right, let's come back in a minute, by Mar, and see what we can uh, come up with. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bahamar. Hello, Mr. Direwolf. Look what I did. Ooh. Yeah. Just put any ore, any poor ore. Do not put yellowite in here, because um, yellowite can be processed in the sag mill. Um, but basically, anything you want to smelt, put in the chest, and it'll get smelted automatically. Um, what's weird is you should be able to place a chest to the uh, adjacent side of this thing and configure it to output. But it's not working, so I had to use a transfer node. I don't know why, but that's weird. Um, and I, I've been manually moving our leadstone cells to and from the area. Yeah, we that's don't have any invar, sick. and we don't have any ferrous yet, so we can't upgrade yeah, the leadstone really energy cell. I'm excited that we have the double compressed dirt, which means we can actually start farming things. Like, we could technically farm in here now. Very cool. Yeah, we should probably actually grab some of the dirt that was in the biome area and place it in this room that we're in so that we don't have to have it loaded. And then we can grow trees and stuff in here. Okay. That's not a terrible idea. Did you get 20 grout? No, I didn't get enough. I'll have to go back and get some more, but what I did just find is even better. What's that? A zombie? Oh no, direwolf heads. Who's died more? Ahamar. I like how this wall is going to become a, uh, a visual representation of how hard this map is. Yeah. I feel like I didn't die that many times. You died a lot. I did die a lot, but only I died that many times. I think sometimes when we die, our heads are dropping twice. I've wondered I'm that myself. About that. I'm, I'm seriously questioning that as a possibility. Okay, well, according to the quest book, you've died 12 times and I've died 7. You have died once to fire, once to falling, once to the void, seven times to monsters, and two times unknown. I've died once to an explosion, five times to monsters, and one time unknown. Sweet. So who's died now? You. Aww. Alright, so we should be very close up to twice. twice as many times as I have. Nice. We should be getting a lot of gold now. Um, I wanted to do that one quest that wants me to do my first alloy, which is an Ang Angmalin. Angmalin? Ang I need ten of them. I need five gold and five iron. And then once I complete this quest, Bahamar, I think we're going to have to wrap up the episode. Seems like, wow, the sag mill's way faster than the pulverizer. Um, it's also got flint in there, which is uh, going to increase your outputs. If you hold shift over that slot with the flint in it. Did you just remove the flint, or did we run out? No, I took it out. What did you do with my yellow right? I stole it. I need that for a quest. I'm doing it. Look, I put it in the in the, in the thing. The sag mill's better than the pulverizer. Oh, nice cyanide dust too. See, if you hold shift over the over the flint, you'll see it increases your main output and your bonus output, and it also reduces power use. Nice. I'm gonna put your um, yellow right in uh, the AE system. So let's see. We have almost enough grout to do the grout quest. You're working on the alloy, my first alloy. Yep. Um, 
I think with some of those um, new picks you found that we should be able to get Skystone. We definitely have enough resources now for the Tool Forge. Same as Spikes. I agree. It looks like we can get a golden bag of holding there. Oh, sweet. I wonder if there's stuff in it. That's what I'm wondering, too. Let's do this. I think I just completed the Angmalian quest, my first alloy. And my reward bag contains 50 bone shurikens. Nice. We haven't yet found the lavender wool, have we? No, that would be the wool I imagine that's in this spatial area. I have two I, ender I fragments. So. We need to find some ferrous ore. Have you seen any of that down there? Not yet. I think we just need to go deeper. Okay. Oh, okay. The iron spike is not cheap. No? It's probably worth it, though. Let's see what I need for Damascus. We have to wrap up soon, by the way. Do we have to? We do, I'm sorry. All right, so Damascus gets us two for each one iron and bronze. So if I need a total of 10, I'm gonna need five bronze. Okay, well I did a quest too, so bleh. Goody. Spikes. So. We are gonna get Sweet. ten. Yeah, we get a lot of that. I wonder if we can melt down the diamond and golden. Ooh, we can chemically decompose it. Yeah. Wow, chemically decomposing diamond gives a ton of. Let's see. Really? Oh, that didn't open up anything else. Oh, okay. I imagine to get, like, to the stuff in the bottom right, where it's got, like, the cactus and the um, leather and stuff, you start with the agrarian farmer, which is the carrots and potato. Gotcha. So, yeah. Seems like a pretty good wrapping up point. Yep. I'm about to do the Damascus stuff, actually, though. Super long episode. I know. I just have to wait for 10 things to smell, and then we can wrap up. I promise. I think we actually did a pretty good job managing the mining area, by the way, because that place was super scary and dangerous, and now it's a little bit less so. Not Except much, for the zombies who are blocking our tunnel. So kill them, noob. You're so mean to me. Well, you kind of asked for it. You're going to give me a swirly of packs, aren't you? I don't know what that means. Is that you're, some kind of food? You're, you're a child of the 80s. Okay. Um, so, I've got Damascus Steel, so we can hand that quest in. Sweet. And that gets us all kinds of stuff. We can get a, a sword out of that, and sweet. Wondering how good that is as a weapon. I'm guessing it's probably pretty good. Oh, yeah, I can so just drown these zombies out. Weapons. What's that? I found a way to deal with the zombies if you'd like to come look at them. Uh, one sec, let me put this stuff away. Okay, and then we have to wrap up. Yeah, we totally have to wrap up. They drown. <laughs> nice. They get into our... That area was secure. Uh, they must have been coming up from the mine shaft because this looks like a zombie invasion. That's not ideal. Alright guys, so for now, Daryl20, Pahamar, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will be back next time to uh, explore this crazy dimensional end place that Pahamar has trapped us in. You did Hope it. you guys are enjoying the series. What's that now? You're the one who trapped us here. I don't, I don't know that that's true, but you can keep pretending that if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a serious amount of zombies. What was I saying about we made it safe? 
Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Take it easy.